that they've done alright by me, all in all. And as I was the dumb fuck dumb enough to gamble with dire dollars in the first place. I'm betting the 15 bucks this time though. Letting it roll. Seeing how it's my birthday and all. And as I've already got marijuana, salt, cigarettes and coffee, the unique components and the assembled engine and the combusting fuel and the tread surfaces and the air inflation within and the motion of my four wheels. <clears throat> enough to last until next week when finally I'll receive my first check from the temp agency and for the work of the first two weeks of the busy bee from which damned abyss Wednesday I quit I have plans also of redeeming the free meal at the casino's robust buffet included among this month's vouchers enjoy a nice fat little birthday meal but I haven't done a very fine job of reading the fine print that only one promotional offer offer may be redeemed within any twenty within any twenty four hour period, and so I'll be denied, having cashed in first the free fifteen. <clears throat> it won't much matter to me though, as I wasn't able to donate plasma, since I didn't whore out my body, since I couldn't sell myself, and so have little reason now to eat, or time that need must be squandered, before starting my workout at the gym. I'm going to gamble it, though, the free 15. And in so doing, I'll be impacted by such incident as shall both solidify and give rise to this theme, happenstance, which both defined and obscured this dismal day, upon which day so many other days both enigmatically and naturally seemed heavier to weigh. Because it's not like I'm this, like this piece were composed today. I won't start handwrite hand scripting this sad speculation till several many more weeks from now. And hundred pa and hundreds of pages, cruising through and musing too, describing shades of shit to you. This has all been half an hour drive to me, distracted in my reverie, and obstructed along the way by the road guy and his sign. The delays all the delays in the delineation for I needed not to explain each detail unto myself between the time. I already lived the details, but to adequately, adequately annotate and give full breadth to the abstruse and abhorrent memoir which so consumed my traveling ponder on such pensive day of arbitrary significance. Specific to me, anonymous to you. Until, until within the casino walls, the loathsome reminiscence of all this ugly review upon my experience of the day was permanently imprinted by what should proceed. <clears throat> and I'll forego, forego depiction, since I shall be out in no time and very short minutes hence, except but to say that the dealer, whose witness watched on, yet his name was not Eduardo, and I'll spare any more suspense but that I'm going to lose, and my free fifteen dollars should be forfeited on the first and only wager that I'll make. Maybe that's my fault, though, for not abiding by the laws of luck. Neglecting the charged nomadic of numbers made intimate by our intuition and no longer neutral. In so refusing seance to the dead digit of a distinct date. And who knows? But maybe they who run the place, those with pith among the pomp, maybe they figured that I would. And so, within the latitude of their manipulative magnetism, perhaps they were trying to help me out. But quietly, meekwise. Somewhere to modesty. And so, who knows, then? But maybe those were pulled strings, which in my memory I hear. And something like the sound of the dulcimers. I'll be back out, though, in just a moment or so. And not long from now I'll arrive at, at the gym, where fogs <clears throat> so disproportionately shall prevail and abound around throughout my workout. 
and before noon I'll be back in the basement, setting to work when shall seem too soon. I think I'm still writing of labyrinth and rodents, and men like mice, and movement through maze. Then later on this evening I'll get a call from Dipshit, out of his shitty shop. <clears throat> After having received it back, not three full days ago, with a clean bill of automotive health, to tell me that, that the transmission is fully fucked in my car for all intents and purposes. Fucked off as well and gone now for good. Oil drum, bone dry. I picked it up Tuesday night from a shitty shop and dipshit printed me out a long invoice of replacements, minor, repra minor repairs and replenishes that he had performed to get my car back to tip top. Included among these services, and cited upon that said, that said receipt of charges, diverse quarts of lubricating fluids and the implication of their proper application, <clears throat> as I do with all automotive service records. which I don't ever discard, lest I know not whether it's this part or that one, which should, have, which should not yet be bad. I shoved the long invoice into the glove box after I rolled out and onto the road, and as I made off, back to my aunt's. Days from now, when at dipshit shitty shop, I meet the guy from the salvage yard, title in hand, scrapping it for cents on the dollar I had just spent to fix it. <clears throat> as I empty the vehicle, its contents... The invoice will have conveniently vanished and shall know where to be found. And I absolutely never throw out such records. Besides that, though, which is days beyond, regarding today, this evening, after Dipshit calls and delivers his shitty dispatch, given the persistent, the persistent proposal of her proffered assistant and the distinctly uncharacteristic volunteer of her generous expense, suddenly forthcoming over the prior weeks and just to just let her help me and by her quick her careful rigid reaction upon that I share with her the same ruinous news that shall have me later profuse with profanity <clears throat> I shall must need speculate and it shall quickly occur to me first how quickly interpret within me whether or not it's true. It shall quickly occur to me that my aunt was in on it, that I'm grounded now to the floor. I don't want to live. <clears throat> this is the nature of it. That my aunt was in on it, that I'm grounded to the floor. But that I'm grounded to the floor below which I'm now in real dollars indebted, but that they should hold me in place to a, predict to a predictable degree into the foreseeable future. And for some reason, yet still somehow I doubt that dipshit's just su such a shitty mechanic. And there I am, where I'll be tonight, back where once more I began again and started at zero already 16 months ago, yet somewhere further behind, roundabout, at my same halted spot, that until I do, it's my every and only sole ambition to res remove myself from her burden, but not without now that I must first reimburse my aunt the, the $1,175 which she just put into my car that is gone. And so too, moreover, <clears throat> or rather under, more under, or rather more under, more behind, more beneath, or backward, or more after, but so that more below and upside down, my first three paychecks too as well, at whatever dead end job that I'm like to get, <clears throat> begin be gone, for they belong already to my aunt in advance, and as here I'm still yet unemployed. 
Even so, though, and albeit, all the while I shall still needs hold my tongue and unfurl my brow about the midst and be easy to spite and double think through discourse and shall keep to walking, wearing this walking city. Even so, though, and albeit all the while, I shall still needs hold my tongue <clears throat> and unfurl my brow about the midst and be easy to spite and double think through discourse and shall keep to wearing this walking city and must need, must need maintain this moving capital I am within this wicked Sodom which they have me always smack dab in the, in the center of through my blindly around this rebellious region Gomorrah and stay still to playing stupid, lest I freeze to death in the coming cold, or, worse, find myself institutionalized, <clears throat> back in the bowels of a mental health beast, which I doubt shall spit me out ever a second time, but should digest me, day by day, as they force my forfeiture by medication administered forcefully until my life runs out. Notwithstanding, though, for now, by day's end, and somehow, another birthday, and here I'll be made again. Here I'll be made, and born me to begin again. <clears throat> of course, this isn't working. Another birthday, and here I'll be made, and born me to begin again. But not before I go in. Do they, do they replace something? I see little flashes when they know that my eyes aren't going direct. I had to start this thing with my aunt's, this, this Chromebook, you know. And, you know, open the new thing and start it up under, um... <clears throat> Wi-Fi, which is like an open forum for the world. Another birthday, and here I'll be made again. Oh, here I'll be made, and born me to begin again. But not before I go in, and bet it all on even, for no reason at all, and chalk it up to OCD. But happy 31st birthday to me, for the ball will fall on 31 odd. And here in the process of rebuilding this broken life, Reassembling these mangled dreams, repursuing, repursuing this shattered existence which set forth and was when ago, upon the wheels so many times celebrated this same day, I had hoped by now to be at even, but things are still so oddly strange, yet hardly now even strange how odd, and only me, and here I am, and here am I, and only I me my. And now, thirty-one, yet never looking better, in my yet in my as yet young life, and still so full of vigor. <clears throat> and here I'm left only in thirty-one, prime. Yet, and so, utterly without factor.